are here at Hobby Lobby trying to get a few crafty things for Emma's project she has coming up. I think this was a mistake because I'm about to buy half the crap in the store. <laughs> like, look at this. Look at that. I would live in that. That is so cute. And look at this. This little guy. Put a little solar receiver on the top of that. Look at that. How cute is that? I'm not a big fan of fake plants, but I have so many ideas for creating a jungle oasis in our esteem. We don't really set up camp anywhere long enough to set out like lights and such, but how cool is that? Like outdoor lantern or things like that? I don't know what we would use a briefcase for, or what do you call this? A trunk? Small trunk. Small trunk, but it is 75% uh, off. Ow, oh, they're dangerous. They got these 50% off prices. Ugh, killing me. Looking at all of these different fabrics and much better than what they have at Michael's and Joann's every time we go in there. If you have a class C or even a class A and you're looking to add a little bit of color to the curtains or we use a divider between the cab and the rest of the box, adding a little bit of color might actually let folks know that you are a real person in there. You care about your rig, of course. So hopefully that's a little less intimidating to people just having a little bit of color, but I think it's a fine balance between being way over the top and eccentric and hey, I'm, I'm a human. So they even have seat covering materials. As you can see down here, this is a good thick material, but 20 bucks a yard, this can be yours. You can cover your entire couch, sofa, dinette, front driver's seats. <laughs> that is worth it. Oh, that'd be awesome. We would have this for our uh, scamp on one side, and I think it was this on the other. Emma's mom was nice enough to sew those up for us for curtains. Ooh, cow print, that's where it's at. That would be nice to have on the seats. I am, uh, I'm feeling that. Love bonsai. You just can't get them to grow inside. If you can get Japanese maples to grow inside, especially in an RV, I will be forever grateful. Just tell me how I need it to happen. They have trains and all the materials you need to make your own world. Love these little, these little trees. How nice is that? This is actually something we're considering. I don't really love the graphics on this, but it's a magnetic map instead of a sticker map. Does anybody out there do model cars <laughs> or model ships? <laughs> These are kind of interesting. Got so many paints. I had a buddy growing up that did a lot with like models and paint, you know, painting each model, putting it together. And for some reason, I was just not very good at it. But I love the idea. <laughs> There's just so many steps. I wonder if that's a good RVing hobby and we have so much room that we can finally have little hobbies, but I don't know if this is a good one for an RV. <laughs> oh, that's, that's cool. I think I already mentioned this, but Hobby Lobby is pretty dangerous. Makes me want to tow one of these behind our esteem. We've got a sign that's uh, that's burnt on the edge, or uh, Shusugi Bond, and we have we have some plans for a desk that might incorporate some of that and some epoxy. Hmm. We've had plans to make our own little coasters, uh, just because I think they're kind of fun. And now that we have a sawzall, I think we'll be able to knock that out pretty darn easily. The sons of guns, look at that. You even have a beautiful horse. That's a, that's a nice cow though, dang. 10 bucks, 13 bucks. Look at these cows. <laughs> 13 bucks, oh man. This is a neon wall hello sign. I feel like this could be a nice touch when we park. That way nobody feels like we are a danger. Kind of interesting. Love the bison and the bear, little, little moose. That's pretty cute. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. 
They're bringing the cow theme. Oh, it's tempting. It's very tempting. I wonder if we could get something like this on the back. So this is a cute little uh, solar light that I found. It's got a solar panel on the back. Its batteries <laughs> are dead, but its eyes, its eyes glow. Oh, these are so cool. These are, they're 20 bucks, 50% off. And they're solar lights. Oh man, I wish we had a good use for these uh, on the outside that we could leave them, not have to remove them. They'd be safe while we're driving. That's, those are really neat. This is a solar cactus that lights up. If only it weren't glass. That's really, that's really kind of cool. This is something attaching to your rig that might be ill-advised. This bad boy is a mega flipper. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> I've really got a thing for cacti. So these cacti taco holders really are calling to me. We've also got all sorts of, all sorts of things. And plastic bowls. It's a pretty, pretty on theme, I guess. This is cool. This is uh, actually a textured glass on top. That's cool. <laughs> idea if you're looking to add some flair to the inside of your rig is I mean for your handles swap them out with something like this <laughs> more or less interesting if you if you please <laughs> look at that that's kind of that's kind of interesting but this is also uh that's something that'll add a little sparkle to your life ah, we made a friend this is what we got so We've got this guy, it was only five bucks. It's a little wire. This stuff smells awesome. We've got some macrame stuff for Emma's projects that she's making. Got this guy for my mom uh, because it's a little birdhouse. I just thought that was kind of cool. A little bit of string, some ink pens. This guy was only 18 bucks. It's a little uh, sewing kit so Emma can work on projects and our flag in the back needs to be sewn. We've got this guy, about tw I think it was about 20 bucks or so. Kind of a little bit of uh, a little bit of fun there. We've got these and they were on the half price shelf, but it turns out when we, when they rang up, they were full price and they were 25 bucks each. And we were thinking about actually sticking these here. However, at 25 bucks, I don't know about that. So <laughs> we're gonna probably end up returning these. And you'll hit your head when you're sitting there. Oh, absolutely. Go to lean back and bang, down go your plants. We've also got more material to make, uh, to make our signs. And these signs turned out well, enough but we're just going to do youtube cozy living machine this time so a little bit bigger lettering a little easier to see and i don't know that everybody really understands the symbols here and this one got a little bit bent so a little bit bigger a little easier to see would be nice and maybe we'll get one for the front window because i think that was pretty effective it would be nice to be able to kind of create a little bit of a a, not necessarily a community per se. I know a lot of YouTubers try to create communities and try to do groups and sell stuff and that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that, uh, but it's not really our style. We just want to show folks that like, hey, not only can you live debt free and be happier and have options, uh, but it's incredibly easy and you, as you can see, you don't have to give much up. I will say it's also pretty interesting to be able to completely redecorate our, uh, <laughs> our entire decor in under a hundred bucks. Pretty cool. I like this moose on this Arctic fox. It's kind of nice. We'll go ahead and we'll mount these guys once we get the Velcro tape. I don't like VH being uh, or using double-sided tape on these guys just because if we want to pull them off later, I don't want to rip off the finish on that because that VHB is pretty darn strong. So.
we're here at Walmart, we gotta get a few things, including peanut butter, because I'll tell you what, those PB and J tortillas. One interesting thing is for the first time, we actually completely depleted our battery bank, our lithium battery bank, and the built-in house batteries, which ours are shot. They are, they're pretty shot. We depleted it because we left the fridge on like, on battery power. My bad, my bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our inverter again. And where's that button? There we are. Yeah, that was uh, that was kind of surprising at uh, six in the morning. I was uploading one of the videos. All of a sudden, it starts beeping and woke Emma up. There's a surprising amount of Class Cs out here in the uh, in the parking lot. It's kind of neat. We're out here in Federal Way, Washington, and this is uh, I'm surprised at how many motorhomes there are here. Uh, not a uh, Walmart. I would want to stay overnight at. Although I don't even know if they allow it, but. Yep. So Emma forgot Velcro because she didn't make a list. So she goes, no problem. Let me run back in and get some Velcro. What did you come back with? I took a stroll down the rug aisle unintentionally to get to the Velcro. And I looked at the bottom shelf and I was like, ooh, that rug has all the colors that matches our stain, like our oranges and our blues from our bed and, you know, whatever. And I was like, ooh, that's really cute. And then I looked at the price and it was $2.24. I was like, have to have that rug. So I got it and I got to the register and I went to check out and it was $50, which $2.24 was probably too good to be true anyways. But I was like, I'll get it, bring it out here. We'll see how we like it. And we brought it out here and it matches perfectly. It's beautiful. It fits wonderfully. It's kind of a splurge, but it, it's beautiful. And I think that it fits in our home well. But she didn't forget the Velcro. By making very small upgrades, we're still making pretty substantial gains on paying down our debt, which is a huge deal. All right, so it's pretty clear we have a problem because we went to another Hobby Lobby while we're waiting for our dinner reservations and found a couple more things. So I'll show you these after we put them up, but <laughs> at least they're, uh, they're pretty inexpensive, most of these, so. We're not spending a crazy amount. And that's the problem with Hobby Lobby, I think, is uh, you can go overboard pretty quickly. Although 50 bucks goes pretty far. And I think all in all, we spent under $200 today in everything that we bought. Refilling with water. If there's a spot here, we're gonna stay here overnight and then we can dump and refill in the morning after our showers. Emma's coworker was super kind as to offer for us to driveway dock for a little while. He said stay as long as we want, but we'll probably stay the week. I don't wanna overstay our welcome. And it's a really nice break from having to move every, every couple days. So hopefully there's enough room to put out our slides and we're still out of the way and all that good stuff. That would be nice. And I'm gonna wanna take a look at the slide and see what we need to order. Getting warranty service on this slide for the leak, which hasn't happened in a while, but getting that warranty service is uh, not very helpful so far. And that's kind of just concerning, but we love our rig. Uh, we have the Integra Esteem 29B. It has been a really good home for us. And we're finally making little changes here and there uh, to really make it our own. And we're moving in and it's getting pretty darn comfortable. So. Uh, and in fact, other than our scamp, which we painted the interior doors, we added curtains, a new bed and things like that, uh, this will actually be the most amount of customization we've done in any rig, including our two airstreams. I think that's kind of cool. I, I, I feel pretty good about that. If the weather were this every single day, I would not be mad. I am so glad our batteries got uh, topped right back off because we were completely dead. Our inverter wouldn't even run this morning, and we've actually pulled in almost 4.8 kilowatts. What a 
what an awesome, what an awesome deal. And we're back to back up and running and we'll just make sure that our fridge is on propane <laughs> overnight. Guys, I really wish we had done a before so we can give you a before and after. But let me show you what our shopping spree uh, for under 200 bucks has gotten us. Starting up here at the front, we've got a nice cow photo. That's beautiful. And as you come over, we've got our wire figure of a dog and a cow. When the slide comes in, theoretically, we won't be able to see it. And as it goes back out, we get a nice surprise. And we've left a little bit of room for two little photos if we can find something that works. That's pretty nice. We're working on a project here, and this will be used to cover the gap that's back behind the sound bar. That has been working out pretty darn well for us, but of course, as you can see, there's still a little bit of ugly back there. So we're working on that. We've got a nice rug, a little bit, I uh, wasn't so sure about it at first, but it's working on me. Emma likes it. We have moved our towel rack to the door. That'll make it a little easier to grab that when we're actually in the shower. And we've got, <laughs> we've got a massive vinyl print and it's got a little bit of a texture to it, which is kind of cool. So uh, that's pretty nice. And for 12 bucks, <laughs> that one's kind of hard to beat. The other interesting thing is as you walk in, it doesn't seem like there's big bulk right here, kind of blocking. It looks just a little bit more open, at least to my eye. We do, of course, have our plant in here. And as we go into the bedroom, we have our little canvas print here as well. That looks kind of nice. I think that's that works out pretty well. We need a little bit of artwork back here. Something that when the slides in, we don't see the edge of it. But when it comes out, we've got another nice surprise. We also bought these two little planters for $3.74 each. <laughs> and the plan is to spray paint them black and turn them into cool planters and hang them either in the bedroom or I might have another idea for them. That's about it. I hope this was kind of fun. It does feel like we're beginning to turn it into home. This is the most we've ever customized an RV that we've been in making our living machine a lot more cozy. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for us or easy modifications that you've made that you can suggest to others. Places to get really good cheap decorations like we did at Hobby Lobby. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.